Alrighty. We are turning around in a small church in Hookstown, Pennsylvania. Nice little town, it seems like, you know. Little small town church, parking lot. Uh, there's a fair here every year. Um, we may drive by that later. My grandfather used to take me there when I was a kid every single year. Used to love it. But we're going to take a right down here at the stop sign. Head into a little place called Georgetown. Not the Georgetown near Washington, D.C., where the Hoyas play. Georgetown basketball story program. Not my biggest fan. There's a little Dairy Mart. But no, no, no. Georgetown, Pennsylvania. Also famous for the filming of Night of the Living Dead back in like the 70s. So sometimes you wonder about these movies and these little small towns and how creepy they are. I mean, look at this right here. Okay. Something's on fire. They're burning a body. Is it a body? I don't know, but they're burning something. And you never know out here. They disguise it. You know, that guy's washing the front of this car back there, trying to probably clear of evidence from something they did. But anyways, um, we don't know. We don't want to stop because of if you've ever seen the movie, it's not it's probably not the safest place to be. You know, we're going to travel here in the daylight. You know, all the creatures, vampires, some of those people, the I mean, the zombies, they don't come out during the day as much, but you don't want to disturb them. And then sometimes they disguise themselves as regular people, just like the people back there that were burning the bodies and washing the evidence off of that vehicle. You, you just don't want to mess with them. I mean, just look at this. You, there's no telling. Look at this field. No telling how many bodies are buried here. No telling. Look at that tarp. See, those ones haven't even gone in the ground and they're trying to hide them. And look at this. Holy cow. Look at this. They are burning massive amounts of evidence massive amounts of bodies they are cleaning house here people they've even rented an excavator to make this happen quicker they probably they probably have a permit and they are just they are they're disguised as other people where i who knows what's going on but they're doing it in the broad daylight for gosh sake they have no fear they don't care they will cut you now here we go there's some of them right there nice little house got a wreath on the front door trying to make believe to the world they're celebrating Christmas and what they're doing is they're giving the goblins and the vampires a place to lie rest during the day so they could go out at night and do their evil things to people. And here you go. Here you go. What we got? What do we got? Hey, Mr. Farmer. Good to see you. All right. He thinks I'm one of them or he wouldn't wave. They have a certain sign that they give to the locals out here. That way they know not sometimes. And so maybe I may get lucky because he gave me that sign. You saw it. I saw it. I may have just snuck in. And now I could be in here under under the guise of a local. I could maybe get into some places where other people can't get into. I don't know. Look at that creek. Look at that creek. Do you know that's where the water uh, the water scouches? That's a goblin type of creature, but they're called water scouches, and they do nothing but travel these creeks at nighttime. So they they won't bother you if you are not in the creek. Here's another creek. Here's another creek. The scouchers will be lined up there after dark. 
and you don't want to cross it because they're going to get you. I mean, they're lined up by the tens in certain places, tens, 20 of them just lined there waiting for somebody to cross that creek running from another creature. And when they cro try to cross that creek, those scouchers will scouch them right up. And if you've never been scouched, oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> It's not a pleasant feeling. There's people, they're hightailing it out of there. We may have something going on down here. I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'm almost scared to keep going, but we've, there's no turning back now. We've already started. We've already made the decision. There's only one way in and one way out. And right now, we're going in. We're going in. I think we made it for the through the first round of barricades out there because they're they have the watchers, they have the watchers, and they will let they will they are in direct communication with security. Now I don't know that we pass any security. Now what I'm hoping, and they're all under, you know, they're all disguised as people. I'm thinking that that farmer looking dude on the tractor that waved and gave me the. He gave me the heads up signal to go ahead in because he thought I was somebody else, possibly. That's what I'm thinking, you know. I mean, I'm in a truck. A lot of people drive trucks. They got to haul bodies in trucks, so they use a lot of trucks. So he's probably thinking, hey, that's so and so, you know, hey, go on in, you're good. Okay, now here's where you got truck deliveries to the sand and gravel plant, all right, which is used to. Uh, they they fill when they when they bury certain amounts of bodies from the things they do. Look at this town. This is a creepy place. They fill the holes back with sand and gravel, and that hides the the odor and you know evidence even better. Look at this place. All right, they put an American flag here like they're patriotic and stuff. These people are out to kill. That's what they're out to do. And then you see this little church right here. All right. You're gonna, you're gonna go to church on Sunday morning and and I, I am a Christian and a believer in God but I think there's people that are I'm not going to show who it is I'm not going to do that but we have another church that are lined up here people they're lined up here they go here and act like they're going to help people and what they do is they get in that's how they get into you you know they get into you and once they're in, there's no stopping. Okay, here's where, the, that's the post office, Georgetown, Georgetown, PA. You know, they even, I guess they send letters to people, I don't know. But, you know, we're going to, we're down by the river. We're, we're, we may go look because that's where a lot of the, that's where a lot of the unspeakables happen. You know, you got a couple kids right here that, God bless them. You know, hope they can get out before it's too late. And we all know what happens when it's too late. The scouchers may get them. The goblins. Demons. Vampires. Look at that. They run through these fields at nighttime. Just running through. Alright. And if you don't know what you're doing, there's no stopping them. There is no stopping them. Look, some of them live in there. Look at that, they live in there. And I think what I'm gonna do is try to make my way to get a glimpse of the river where so many bad things have happened. It's, you know, they, they picked this place to film Night of a Living Dead for a reason, all right? It didn't just be some type of coincidence no no it's historic look at this place it's historic because the goblins and the creatures oh see they're not even letting anybody in now they probably are doing stuff down there they sell this the borough residents only look at that georgetown borough residents only all right you know who these borough residents only are they're the vampires there's a, they're the creature there's the scouchers there are a lot of scouchers and they're the the spooky 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 creatures and people that really hurt everybody and so we're going to get out of here and i'm going to leave you because i have got to concentrate 
on getting out of this place. If you even look, I mean, they they got it. You got they got you pinned in. All right, they don't want you going anywhere. They got you pinned in. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have to try to be incognito here, and you know, everybody learn to do a three point turn. It may have to be a seven. May have to make this a seven, seven point turn. All right, because there's a wall back there. I can't hit it. And there's no room, there's no room, and it's on this big hill, and I'm scared because the goblins and the creatures are somewhere down that path. They're down that path beyond that fence, and I know that they're just waiting for mortals to come through so they can have their feast. And I don't want to be dinner. I dang sure don't want to be dinner. You just look at these scary places, man. They're scary. They're scary. So I'm going to focus. We're peeling out of here. We're peeling out. Peeling. Peeling. And just pray for me. And Godspeed.